What do you make out of Bryson and Brooks? Well, I mean, when you see it and you hear it, is it just media stuff? We all saw the piece of tape. I mean, what, what do you make out of it? Well, you know, it started with slow play. Uh, Brooks Kepka doesn't like slow play. So back a couple of years ago, he made some comments about Bryson, you know, and Bryson on the golf courses. You know, the scientist kicks in very thorough. You know, I mean, they're going through yardages and percentages. What's the what's the uh, barometric pressure? What's the this, the that? You know, I mean, he can take some time. Okay. Um, it's not a race. It's who shoots the lowest score. Uh, but at any rate, I, I guess it aggravated Brooks. He made some comments. I think Bryson responded in kind. And there you had the inception of this spat, so to speak. Now, uh, I read where Brooks thinks it's good for the game. I do not. Uh, I don't share that view. Um, yeah, is it noteworthy? Do real golf fans want to see them get paired together? You bet. Mm -hmm. And if it was to be in the final round of the U.S. Open, <laughs> that would be quite intriguing, wouldn't it? You'd uh, have an audience. You'd yeah, have an audience. But, you know, but I, for one, speaking only for myself, Sure. I'm kind of sick of it. Yeah. I'm a little sick of, of the fawning over what's Bryson going to do next. He's taken a degree off his driver. He's got a lighter shaft. He's done this. He's done that. You know, come on, go out and play golf. That's the measure of whatever it is you're doing. Brooks, on the other hand, for me, I'm a little tired of the macho man thing. You know, and I'm the biggest, baddest cowboy in the planet, the fastest gun in the West. And, you know, that's fine, but I've had enough of it personally. Yeah. No, it's a storyline that uh, I think, uh, like you, I just want to see golf this weekend and I don't yeah. need to have all the sideshow. I get the sideshow. I, I look, it happens in all sports. This guy doesn't like this guy. This guy doesn't like that. I got it. I got it. I understand it. But, yeah. but you know, you're on a, you're in a great municipal course that has different looks, different views for the golf fan to just sit there and on their couch, watch the Pacific, maybe some fog, maybe some rough, and to get all caught up. And boy, I hope Brooks is paired with Bryce and like, hey, come on, I think we're better than that. Yeah, I mean, how can that circumvent? You know, the US Open is a week to celebrate golf. It's the ultimate test, most demanding test that players see all year. And you're testing their metal, their guts, their guile, their physical skills, their mental stamina. I mean, it's all there. Why, why would anybody shift attention from what the U.S. Open offers? You know, I mean, I, I, I think there's a good percentage uh, of the golfing public that watches that kind of like seeing them get their nose bloodied a little bit, you know, <laughs> that, that leaving it in the rough. And they, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they'd want to see it every week. I think they want to see great shots. They want to see a lot of birdies. I get it. But for that one week a year, we're all of a sudden, man, the golf course can make them look kind of silly. I think the golf fan likes that and embraces it. It's good stuff. I'll let you go off that. I know you're busy and I appreciate your time and your insight. We look forward to seeing you. On all the platforms, NBC will have the events this weekend, also Golf Channel as well. Roger, thanks. You bet, Brad. Good talking to you.